Hi there, welcome to the short overview video of the accounts template with a next minute. You can make changes to your quotes, invoices, supply invoices and orders to include and show what you want. It's very easy to customise your accounts document information. In this video we are going through customising a quote, but the same steps apply for your invoices and orders. We are currently in our quotes list and select the quote you would like to work on. Here you can click into your quote header to make any edits to the quote detail. You can also add any header and footer notes to appear on your quote. To add a sale item to your quote, select add a new item and you can then select to add any labour, materials, disbursements and other items. We are adding a material. Select one from your list. Add a quantity and apply. Once you've made changes, it's important to note that the quote you're working on is now locked by you. That way, no one else in your team can simultaneously make changes. You now have the option to save these changes you've made to your quote here. You have the option to collapse all sections or expand all sections. Select View Options and here you can tick to include the buy price and markup, the discount and the tax rates. You can select to add a new section or select here to add a subsection. Here are your section options where you can indent a section, import items from an existing quote, order, supply invoice or pre-built template, or delete the section. Easily rearrange the order of your quote sections by simply dragging and dropping a section. When you are happy with your changes you've made, select save. Select Preview and Send to view the printing display options. Select a section and then tick the desired printing options and choose how you want the quote template to display by checking desired columns to hide. You can then apply to this section or all sections and set this as default. Select Done and then apply once all the changes have been made. You can then preview the quote to see how the customer will view it. You'll get a pop-up saying you must first save changes if you hadn't previously. From here, you can now export the quote, print the quote, or send to the customer. Cheers for watching! Check out our other YouTube videos for hints and tips on using Next Minute to its full potential.